everybody, my name's Troy Hawes, and welcome once again to another edition of My Acoustic Lounge. Today we're going to review a great song by Keith Urban. The song is called Somebody Like You. It was co-written between Keith Urban and another gentleman named John Shanks. Somebody Like You peaked at number one on the Hot Country Songs charts and number 23 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2002. Now, before we get started, be sure to click the subscribe button as I'm always trying to put up new content on a regular basis. In addition, if you like my guitar tutorials and covers, you might actually also like my original music, which can now be purchased or streamed from any one of your favorite online music providers. Simply look up Troy Hawes and you'll find my music there. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the chords that you're going to need to know to get through this great song. And then we'll break down the song and review the chord progressions. As always, I'm going to use a great backbeat from my Beat Buddy by Singular Sound. So if you want to learn a great song by Keith Urban, stick around. We're going to get started right now. Okay, in order to get all the way through this great song, you're going to need to know five chords. Three of them are bar chords. So, if you're not familiar with bar chords or they make you a little bit nervous, um, with a little bit of practice, I know you can get this down, but you're going to need to know three bar chords in order to play this song. Let's have a look at these chords. The first one is an E major. You're going to need to know an A chord. There's a B bar chord. There's also a C sharp minor bar chord. And finally, there's an F sharp minor bar chord. That's it. Those five chords are going to get you all the way through this great song. Let's now have a closer look at some of the chord progressions. Okay, we're going to break this down basically into four parts for you. We're going to start with a look at the verses. Then we'll jump into the chorus. There is a bridge, believe it or not, it's at the end of the song. And then we'll finish things off with a closer look at that intro. Uh, that intro makes the song instantly recognizable if you happen to be a Keith Urban fan. There's a simple acoustic lounge version of that intro, and I'm excited to show you. With that, let's now have a closer look at the verse. There's a new wind blowing, never Okay, fairly easy. Now, let's jump in and have a look at the chorus. Wanna feel the sunshine shining on me and you But your arms around me You let me know there's nothing in this world I can do You're doing great so far. Let's now have a look at the bridge to this song. Be the man in the middle of the night, shining like it's true. Wanna be the man that you're on to, whenever I call on you. Whenever thing that love so finally finds its way. Wanna be a better man, I see it in you, yeah. Okay, now we're going to jump into that lead guitar intro in just a second. Um, other than that lead guitar intro, there is a bit of a break in the song where uh, if you're playing in a band, a lead solo will come in. It basically encompasses, it starts on the E, then it goes to the A, then to the B, then back to the A, and back to the E. 
when you see the cover version of this uh, song coming up here in the next few days, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, before we get to this, this intro though, I want to talk about a little bit of strumming and what I'm doing in this particular song. Now, it's got a unique strum to it, and that it is, uh, it's more of a, a galloping strum. With the verses, I basically palm mute it. Now, for those of you who don't uh, know what a palm mute is, this is when you place this part of your hand, this tissue of your hand, over the string slightly, and you strum the chord. It, it gives a muted kind of bassy sound, something like this. as opposed to outright strumming the chord. Now, I palm mute it for uh, the verses, but I strum the chords outright for the chorus and palm mute it for the bridge. Now, that galloping strum, just using the E chord, it goes something like this. So that's going to take a little bit of practice. You don't have to play it that way. You can just strum the chords however you find a rhythm, a strumming pattern that works for you. By all means, you know, take advantage and play it that way. But the song does have sort of this galloping strum. One more time. And that's it. All right. Let's zoom in now and have a closer look at that intro to the song. All right, let's have a closer look at that intro to this great song. Now, for the record, Keith Urban's um, uh, version is a bit more complicated. In fact, he arpeggiates this particular part. We're here at the Acoustic Lounge. We found a very, very easy way to play this that's simplified for beginners. Let's get into it. Everything starts right here on the ninth fret of the third uh, string, which is the G string. And all that I do is I simply play the G string the second open B string, and the first open E string. Sounds like this. That's it. And then we jump up from the ninth to the eleventh fret, repeating that process, then up to the thirteenth fret, and to the fourteenth. The challenge is you're going to have to get the rhythm down. That's going to be the real challenge. It's, dark, it's hard for me to play it uh, slowly, but it, again, on that uh, ninth fret, and then into the E. And that's where the song begins. It's really that easy. And there you have it, Keith Urban's Somebody Like You. My name is Troy Hawes. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of My Acoustic Lounge. Again, if you like my guitar tutorials and covers, please consider subscribing. I do truly, truly appreciate it. This is part one of a two-part video tutorial featuring this great song. In the next couple of days, I'll upload an Acoustic Lounge cover version of Somebody Like You featuring the chord charts. Until the next time, keep playing. Music is good for the soul.